Good morning, this is Virginia with Jenny Lee Gems. I finished this basket and I need to create the bagging stitch to fill in these holes here on the handles. And that's my last step of this basket. So I thought I'd make a short video. You start with about one arm's length of thread and I put a little knot at the end. I usually work from left to right. That just tends to work out best for me. So you come in a little ways down, wherever you think it'll look good to hide your needle or hide your knot and thread. And it's kind of tight in here. I'll use my little pliers to get a hold of them. My fat little fingers wouldn't get in there. So pull it through. Don't pull it too hard because you pull the knot right through. Then use your needle or some other object to push your knot down in there and hide it. So I use waffle cone generally because it, it tends to just kind of fit in the background. Now I leave the little tail until I get everything secure and then I cut it off because I don't want to end up pulling it through by accident. So there, it's secured. And then you could start your faggoting stitch. Okay, so we've tied the knot, we've worked it in, kind of hidden the thread back there. Now we are gonna go up and grab a few threads, just about halfway between the two bottom stitches. See, here's these two stitches that I'm gonna be attaching to. I just went halfway above. Now come back through that stitch that you just attached to the top. Twist it around. Go through your bottom stitch. Slowly go through so you don't get knots like I keep getting earlier. Come back through. It'll twist around. Then you will grab a stitch or two from up here. Secure it. Pray it doesn't get caught on your ring. This is just insane. I keep getting knots. I keep getting things caught. I am not having a good time today, but I'm trying to get this video together. So we secured it to the top, come back in, twist it around, bounce your light a little bit so it makes the video hard to see. <laughs> Here we go, back in from the bottom stitch. And you just keep with that process. So you go up about halfway here, attach, come back down. Make sure you twist between each stitch. Just like this. I'm having a hard time doing this from this angle, trying to get it up close. I wish I had a better. So you can see the pattern starting up. I'll go back and create a few more stitches and show you what it looks like. So I've completed a few more stitches of the faggoting stitch. That's what it looks like. It is a little hard to see because it is a light thread, but that is my intent. I want to be able to see it, but it not take away from the beads. So I wanna show you, if I can get close enough here, 
how I hide the thread and maneuver from this side of the basket to this side without having to start and stop threads. So I go take a stitch up above in this case, stitcher two, because you wanna make sure it's secure and it doesn't come apart. So I go ahead and create my stitch as I normally do. Then I like to still have the twist in there just to continue the, the same look. So there'll be a little twist there, but then I end up going right next to that stitch and I'll put my needle in and go as far as I can to get to the other side. We're just trying to make the thread travel and hide it within the basket handle. So normally I don't like to go through the um, needles, but in this case, I'm trying to hide the thread and come out the other side here. I want to come out here so that I could just go down and continue the faggoting stitch. Okay, I've made it clear through to the other side and I've managed to hide my thread. So, see, I'm not sure if you could see, but there is a little knot up there. It's kind of just continues with the twist. I worked my needle all the way up over here, hid the thread within the handles. See, you can't even see where it came in and out because the thread is so light and it just ends up blending with the thread that's on the handle. So here we are back at our starting point for the other side. Now, if I could get a hold of my needle, here it is. I need four hands to do this video. So you see, I've lined up just a little bit above, so it's halfway through. I'll come back through this bottom stitch. Now you need, when you're making a basket, if you're planning on doing the faggoting stitch, in the handle or whatever you want to call this part, you need to make sure there's enough stitches down here to have something to attach to. So you can either wrap this row or make sure that you have stitches about a quarter of an inch apart for a nice looking faggoting stitch. So come back around, do the little twist. We're going to, hopefully that's on camera, we're going to come up here, grab a couple little stitches, Pull it through. I have to use my pliers a lot because it's tight in here. Then we come back up, make a twist here. And you can see the pattern starting to form. Come back down. Just don't forget the twist. Sometimes you get going and you forget to put the little twist in and that's the whole idea behind the pattern here. So, move back a little bit, might be clearer. Back up about halfway. And honestly, I'm not real exact. These are handmade products. It's not perfection, it's not machine made. So just do what looks best to you, whatever you like. Come back through, do a twist. Come back down through the next stitch. Pull it snug, not too tight because you don't want to shape your basket. You don't want to pull the handles down. Just enough. There you go. So now I'll get to the end and show you how I tie off. So I've completed the faggoting stitch through this side of the handle of the basket. 
I'm at the end now, and I'm gonna finish it off just the same way that I started it with a little knot. So I will go ahead and work my needle through down here. Just through about three or four, whatever you feel where you can hide it best. Pull it through. I have to do this off camera, but work it through. When you get to about here, pull it through, create a little knot, tie it off, same as you did here. Leave a little string so you can just make sure it's secure in there. You could have, you know, you can go as further back as you want, but I usually go about three and I'll fit the knot right in here. I have to do it off camera because I can't do it from this angle. So tie it off the same way you started. And if your basket is a small basket, you can work your thread without having to tie off and go to the other handle. Now this is a long, larger basket, so I'm gonna tie off and do this other handle the same way. So hope that makes sense. There is another Fagadine Stitch video that I've created if this one isn't working for you. So see how that waffle cone, you barely see it. So you know there's a little lacy stitch there, but it doesn't take away from the rest of the basket. So there you go. That's the way you do the fagotting stitch, or at least it's the way I do it. Enjoy, keep coiling.